Hey guys, it's Trip with Ift, and today we're going to talk about how Ifters automate project management on Ift. Let's get started. Now, there are dozens of project management tools out there, and each one is perfect for each individual. So I would say that if you are trying to improve your productivity and help your business run more efficiently, play around with different tools to figure out which one's best for your specific use case. But there is universal actions that need to occur across project management tools that you could get started doing today and help automating all of the bits and pieces of your business. For example, first is new task creation. What I mean by new task creation is in every project management tool, there are a box and inside those are tasks. They could be either full projects, they could be individual tasks, a part of a project, but you always need to run through and create new tasks when you're building out a new project in a project management tool. So what a lot of ifters do is automatically create tasks based on different actions outside of the project management tool. For example, I've got a friend who runs a roofing company. I was asking him the other day, hey, what CRM are you using? How are you managing all of your leads? He's using Pipedrive. Great project management tool, great sales tool to easily understand how many open projects that you do you have? Where are they in the overall life cycle of the jobs that you're completing? And then I was asking them, how are you adding your new leads that come through your website onto your project management tool? He said manually. He's literally spending like 30 minutes to an hour once a week or maybe multiple times a day and just looking at all the leads that come through his website, manually copying and pasting all those new leads into Pipedrive. I was like, look, man, I think I'm, I know of a software that can help you do this a little bit better. So let's build out a really quick new task creation applet for my buddy's roofing company. So here we are on the DIY applet creation flow. And remember, a new task could be anything. It could be your customers submitting new tasks through forms or Airtable, Google Forms, Typeform, Jotform, anything. And then it gets added into your project management tool. Or it could be a simple form on your website where you capture new leads and then you add those new leads into a project management tool. This example from my buddy's roofing website, we're going to be using Jotform. So let's click in here, Jotform, new submission on a form. All right. Jotform has a ton of templates and this one is an appointment request form. Perfect for a uh, roofing company, right? We're just going to create this trigger. And then we want to add any information from that form into our project management tool. For my buddies, it's going to be pipe drive. Okay, so here we are on the action field. We want to add all that information inside of JotForm into pipe drive automatically. Okay, we're choosing my pipe drive account. We're going to add it to the pipeline in the qualified stage because any new lead that comes through the online form is qualified. We're going to do um, roofer organization. I'm putting the form title there, deal title. I'm doing the automated IP and submission ID. So in here, you basically need to customize the job form to include the name of the new deal, but this will give it a unique ID that we can follow in our pipe drive account. Deal value, I don't know. And then person ID saying owner of the roofing company. I want it to get assigned to that owner automatically. We're gonna create this action. And boom, continue. So if a new form submission on the roofing rep website, then create a new deal. Perfect. All right, so that's how you add new tasks from outside of a project management tool and automatically add them into your project management tool. And remember, this could be new leads that your sales team needs to call or new projects that your clients want you to work on. Um, basically, just think of how are your clients or potential customers interacting with you and then how can i automatically add that into my project management tool so i can keep it all organized and be able to work on those projects succinctly and efficiently now the second way i see a lot of ifters using ift for project management is automatically notifying team members when tasks are assigned um, a lot of times they will get an automated email but what if your whole team works on slack or google chat you want to notify them when you assign new tasks to them inside of a project management tool all right so i'm a project manager on our internal marketing team okay and we use clickup as our project management tool so whenever i assign a new team member 
within our marketing team a new task. I want to notify our channel, letting people know that I have assigned X task to X person. All right. It's a communication tool helping our team better understand who's working on which projects. So for example, we're going to start with our ClickUp instance. ClickUp, <clears throat> we're going to say task is updated. We're going to go in the if marketing and we want to change the assignees. Whenever a new task is updated with an assignee, I want to communicate that to our Slack channel. We're going to post to channel. All right, so here we are inside of our uh, specific Slack action. So we're going to send it to the private channel, marketing private. So this is where our marketing team all interacts inside of Slack. The message is going to be task ID. So it's just basically the task ID of the ClickUp task is updated, now assigned to new value. So whoever I assign inside of ClickUp, they'll be able to see it. If it's Chelsea or Jenna or Ty, they're going to see these updated values inside of ClickUp. And the title is basically is a task is updated so people will start noticing oh i've got a new task inside of ClickUp, and then they can click through go to click up and see what they're working on boom continue and that's it guys well thanks for hanging out with me and again if you are trying to optimize and be more productive with your project management inside of ift remember those two different ways to use our project management tools either take external tasks and automatically add them inside of your project management tool or within your project management tool and you're trying to communicate new tasks to team members automatically notify your team members when they're assigned new tasks inside of your project management tool also if you want to like and subscribe you'll always get notified whenever we're producing more videos we're going to try to do a lot more of these user case studies on how people are using ift to automate and optimize their businesses and again this is trip with ift where everything works better together thanks guys